Hi, there's three mistakes that most beginning Forex traders make and they're really simple to identify and it can be turned around really quickly to be profitable. But most traders spend a long time, they can't figure it out. And it took me forever too. But I'm gonna show you these three mistakes and how to turn them around in today's video. So let's get started. All right, so the first one is pretty straightforward and you would think that it would stand out more, but it's trading against the trend. A lot of traders struggle with this. So for a perfect example, uh, so right now this is the pound yen trade, pound yen on a four hour chart. And this has been trending down for quite some time. And the thing is when you zoom up bigger like this, you can zoom it out, you can see that it's been moving down, right? So I'm gonna zoom back in. And so here's a great example, right? And traders that are beginners, they're looking for reversal trades and they see this horizontal level right here. Okay, so they're saying, okay, this is a key resistance level. I'm gonna take the trade. And so they take the trade and what happens? Boom, stopped out. Right? And we talked about that a little bit in last week's video about getting stopped out going the wrong way. Well, one thing that would help you with this, right? So the first thing is you can easily get stopped out on horizontal trend lines. But if you're trading in the direction of the overall trend, you won't make this mistake. So mistake number one is trading against the overall trend. So rather than taking this trade on the breakout, why not wait for a reversal candle such as something that pops into here and then a, maybe a break below this, this trade, and then price would continue to move a little bit lower. So if we take this and zoom out a little bit, uh, you can see that this would have been a much better move. Do you see that? Right? So mistake one number one is trading against the trend. And the way to fix it is always know what the trend is and trade in the direction of the trend. And it's pretty simple. You can just see the chart going from right to left. One of my key ways of finding the trend is I look at the weekly, the monthly, and the daily charts to see if everything is going into alignment. If everything's working together on the higher time frames, then you can look at the lower time frames and wait for pullbacks, okay? So now the next huge, humongous mistake that most traders make, and this one's easy to fix too, is too much risk. They're trying to get rich quick, okay? Uh, you wanna learn to be consistent before you can learn to make money. So let's go back to this first trade right here. Uh, and I don't mean make money, I mean get, make a lot of money. You gotta be consistent before. So on this trade, Let's just say, okay, the breakout, look at this big, huge bar. See this big bull candle? It's like, man, this thing's going. I need to get in on it. It's the fear of missing out is screaming, and you're like, this is going to go. We're having all the way up here, right? I get it. I've been there. So you want to go in, and you want to go in big, big dollar signs. You're seeing big dollar signs in your mind. You're like driving that new car. You just, you're on that vacation. You're visualizing it. You're seeing your new boat, your new truck. You see it all, right? And so you're like, oh, man, I don't want to take a small trade because this is the trade. This is the trade right here. Well, more than likely, it's not the trade, but you need to trade small because what happens is if you trade big, you get reversed, and the next thing you know, you're like, oh, I don't want to take that loss. It's too much money. It's too much money. I don't want to take this here. So what do you do? You move your stop. Big no-no. Big no-no. And then the next thing you know, you're trading even more. And then we see the reversal candle, and it's going, and you're like in a lot of pain. And so rather than dealing with it, you just let the account take you out. You end up blowing your whole account. Now you go through all this emotional pain, emotional baggage. You feel like a failure. You can't confess and tell people that you just blew the entire account. It's a disaster, right? So here's the way to, to avoid that. Here's the big fix. Use fixed money management rules. Only risk 1% of your account. And you put your stop loss here. If it loses, 
it loses no big deal. Because what you're going to understand is if you can consistently make money week in and week out, then over time you can learn those little tricks to maximize your profits. But you can't do that before you can be consistent. You can't do that. So you know what? Maybe you can increase the size when you get experience, but don't do it now, right? Learn to be consistent first week in and week out. And once you do that, then, then you can really become successful, right? So now on to the third mistake that traders make. Well, a lot of new traders get their timing off, right? And this is meaning that they have the right idea on the trade, but they just time it wrong. They just time it wrong. And then because of that, they get either a very small profit or they don't get any profit at all because of the timing. So in this particular example, uh, sometimes they'll be like, oh, I need to wait for confirmation. I'll need to wait for confirmation, you know? And so you might have a level right here, okay? And see you're on this trade and you wait for the price to close. Let's say this candle, you wait for price to close. And then all of a sudden you end up right here as your entry. Because why? Because you're waiting for the candle to close. You're waiting for confirmation, okay? That is a big mistake. And what ends up happening is price now comes right up into this level. You might be like, uh oh, it's moving into my level, break out. You either take a stop here at break even, or maybe it comes up and hits your stop. You take a small loss, and that is a big problem. Okay, so what is a better way? It's about, it's about your timing. Timing. And the key here is using these levels, using these levels. So first we understand, in the first mistake, we want to trade with the trend. The second thing we want to understand is we want to use those levels. So we draw here and two ways that would be even better to take that trade. Number one is push it up into this support level and take a sell right here. Or number two, if you miss it, rather than taking it here where you're going to get stopped out, wait for it to come back into the level and take the sell here. So uh, an advanced trader will take a sell right here and or another advanced trader will take the sell right here. Whereas a rookie trader will take the trade after the breakout and it's, I found that the rookie and the beginning trader, and I've learned this the hard way from a lot of experience and doing it myself over and over again, is that I'm too late, right? You don't wanna be too late. Your timing is really important. So just to recap, the three mistakes are trading against the trend, risking too much money and then having bad timing. And the three remedies for that is never trade against the trend, identify that trend, and then trade with the trend. Number two, only risk 1% of your account. Be consistent day in and day out, week in and week out. And when you get good at it, then maybe you can increase your risk as you really understand yourself and how you get the experience needed for trading. And then the third thing is bad timing. The best way to time is in the direction of the trend. You want to use levels, find out how to identify those levels. And I'm thinking about doing a, a video on increasing a small account, on growing a small account. And I'm also thinking about doing a video on how to identify levels because there's this little trick to it on how to identify levels the right way. So those are the two future videos. So here's what I'm asking for you now. If you like today's video, please leave a comment and subscribe and like. Also, if you want me to do a video on how to do levels, or if you want me to do a video on how to grow a small account, which one do you wanna see next? Put that in the description as well and or in the comments and I will do a video on those. So I need at least 50 likes and 20 comments to get this going. So I'm encouraging everyone to participate. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.